Hey guys, so today we're just going to take a look at a grade 9 GCSE maths um, exam question. So this is taken off one of the specimen papers. So you might have seen this question, you might not, depending on whether your teachers have given you this paper before or not. But this is one of the common circle theorem proof questions. So this is to do with your circle theorems. So we're not actually having to work anything out. We are just proving that this angle here, B or C, so this is the angle here, that angle there, is twice as angle twice the size of the angle B, A, C, I can't speak today. So that's this angle here. So for example, if this was 40 degrees here, this would be 80, for example. So that's the, the basis behind this proof, right? We've got, but we've got to prove it. So how do we actually do that? Well, the way to prove this is an algebraic approach, um, because we know that this angle here, um, if we're aiming for a grade seven or above really, we should know that this angle here is double this, right? How do we prove it? So we have to take an algebraic approach. So the way to start with this proof is to split this, what we've got here, this shape, into two triangles. So the way I'm going to do that, and this isn't going to be perfect because I'm doing this with my mouse, um, but when you're doing this you know, on your paper or any question like this, make sure you use a ruler, um, but you need to join a line from the point A to the point here of the centre. So it's going to look something like this. That's what it should look like, right? Um, I know that's not perfectly straight, but that's what it should look like. So we've got two triangles now. We've got this triangle here, um, and we've got this triangle here. Now, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to say that this angle here, um, drawing the line there, we're going to call that angle X. Now, you can call it whatever you want. You can call it A, B. Um, you can even pick letters from a different alphabet if you really want to be as, as fancy as that. But I'm going to call it X. It's a very common letter we use, right? So that's going to be x. On this one here, I'm going to call it y. So that's the angle y. So that's y. Well, what this means is that this angle here now, so B, um, O, C, so this angle here, what that will be is it's going to be 360, so the angles around a point. So it's going to be 360 minus x minus y. Hopefully that's clear. So it's going to be 360 minus x minus y. So that gives me that angle there. So this one here is x. This one here is y. This is 360 minus x minus y. What we can do now is think about what these triangles actually represent. So if this angle here is x, what that means is that, so angles in a triangle are up to 180. So this here is going to be 180 minus x divided by 2. And this angle here will also be 180 minus x divided by 2. So that's going to be 180. 180 minus x divided by 2. So if that one there is 180 minus x divided by 2, and this one here is also 180 minus x divided by 2, what that means is if we had to have an isosceles triangle, right? These are your base angles, and if they're both the same, that means we have an isosceles triangle. So this angle here is that, and this angle here is that. And then similarly, we're going to do the same, but instead of it being x, it's just going to be y. So it's going to be 180 minus y minus y divided by 2. So just make sure when you do it, it looks a little bit neater than mine. It's a bit uh, scruffy, but hopefully it's clear. 180 minus y divided by 2. So that's that angle, and that's this one up here. So what we can say is that angle AOC, so angle AOC, AOC, that's X, so that's that X there. Angle AOB, AOB is going to be Y. Angle BOC is 360 minus x minus y minus x minus y we also know that angle BAC so this is from B to A to C so this is this angle here so if you were to join these two these two angles together right so angle BAC that's going to be 180 minus y divided by 2 plus 180 minus x divided by 2 so angle BAC angle BAC that's going to be equal to 180 minus y divided by 2. 
So unfortunately, there's a lot of writing here, and uh, my writing's so scruffy today. Divide by two, plus 180, minus x divided by two. So if we you, if we were to simplify this, what we're going to get? So that's going to be 180 divided by two. So that's 90. We're going to get minus y over two, plus 90 minus x over two. So what we get left with is just 180 again, because it's 90 plus 90, so 180, 180 minus y over two, plus uh, minus x over two. Be careful for that. Minus x over two. Well. If you times this by 2, so this is angle here, this one here. So what we're saying now is that this angle here is two lots of this. So if we times this by 2, do we get 360 minus x minus y? If we get that, we've proven it. So if we times this by 2, so two lots of 180 minus y over 2 minus x over 2, what do we get? Well, that's going to be 2 times 180, so 360. 2 times minus half y, or 2 times what, minus y over 2, so that's going to give me minus y. Same again, 2 times minus x over 2 gives me minus x. And there we go. So we've proven it there. And we've proven that by showing this angle here is 2 lots to give me this. So if I times this angle here by 2, I end up with this angle. And we've proven it algebraically, which is the way to go about it. So that's the full proof. Um, so you just need to illustrate these points when you're going through the proofs. You need to you know, show each angle as you go along. You need to show that these triangles that you've formed are isosceles triangles by showing that the base angles are the same. And then just sh you know, constructing the proof by adding these two angles and then times it them by two to get this angle here, angle B or C. And that's it. That's the full proof. So I hope that's been helpful. Um, and there we go.